And I have also just found another suit. Right, okay, this is getting a little bit silly now. But so yeah, that's perfect. And then I'm just gonna take a photo. The end is near. Sip of the tea. And the doorbell's just gone. Bear with me two seconds. This is all of the denim I have. I know, quite ridiculous. How Hello everybody, how are you all? I hope you are doing it really well. Welcome back to my channel and to a video I've been meaning to film for quite some time. Haven't quite got round to it, but today is the day. I'm doing a huge wardrobe clear out. Now, do you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I'm a pretty organized person and I have done this pretty much, I would say, every single season. So we're kind of mid-winter now. When I'm filming this, it's mid-February, so we are coming into spring. So, with that in mind, I thought I'd just give my wardrobe a bit of an edit. I do a capsule seasonal wardrobe, as you will see. So, in my wardrobe currently, there is nothing that is summer appropriate. It is all winter, spring clothing. But I just feel like it needs a bit of an edit. I've definitely accumulated things, like some things over Christmas that can come out. So, yeah, I have filmed these videos before, and they do go down really, really well. So, if you do want to check them out as well, previous ones I have done, I will link them down below. So the whole idea of this video is that I'm going to be going through how I edit slash declutter my wardrobe, what I do with the items that I take out, so that is going to be also like gift, um, charity donate or sell, and then I'm also going to show you how I do list items on the internet to sell them and try and make some money to then purchase more clothes or save. So yeah, that's kind of the whole idea. Yeah, if you do enjoy the video, as always, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button as well. It helps me out a ton. It just means you guys get told every time I upload a video. If you do want to do that, you can just click the little button down below. So yeah. Let's get cracking. So before I start a wardrobe clear out, I think as an essential, you need to make sure your room is clean and tidy. You have a lot of space because that always does help. And the doorbell's just gone. Bear with me two seconds. I was just about to save rid yourself of all distractions and then the doorbell just went. <laughs> Ideally, you just want to be in the zone. I do like to make myself a cup of tea and I also like to get my speaker or some kind of like music. You can listen to like an audio book, something that's going to help you get in the zone. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea, get my phone and a speaker and I'll be with you guys in two seconds. Okay, so I made myself a cup of tea. I've gone for a lemon and ginger. I've got my phone, so I'm going to play an audio book while I do this. Let's get cracking. So before we do start, what I tend to do when I'm attacking my wardrobe is make four piles and I'm going to put them on the screen here. So a pile that I'm going to keep, a pile that I'm going to donate to charity, a pile that I'm going to give to a friend, a family member, and a pile that I'm going to sell. I also do sometimes incorporate a fifth pile which is to throw away. This is very, very rare. I feel like every piece of clothing can be saved or salvaged, but we're talking things that have severe holes in them, potentially like bleached or damaged, or something that is not in a giftable, charitable, sellable condition and just does unfortunately need to be thrown away. It, like I say, it very rarely happens, but it is a pile sometimes that I do need to do. So what I'm gonna do is detach you from the tripod and we're gonna take a look in the wardrobe. Okay, so my wardrobe is from Ikea and I've completely forgot the name of it. It is a wardrobe I know so many people have. It's quite a good one because it's fairly deep and it's got the four in built-in drawers below. So you have like enough for two rails. This is perfect if you're sharing, but then you also have shelving above and room below. I love it. So as you can tell, we're not in too bad of a position. I have two boxes above. One of this is just full of products. So this is things like um, shampoos, conditioners, and that kind of thing. That is hats and scarves. That's definitely going to get edited. And I have some bags as well that I need to go through. And then here I have knitwear. This is like sweatshirt. Behind there I have t-shirts. So I need to go through those. And then here I have all of my trousers, my shirts, more shirts. And then down below... I have shoes and denim, so it's a lot. Um, this is like my underwear and sock drawer. This is like my loungewear drawer, so you can see that needs editing in here. Oh my god, this is actually, again, more loungewear. So it's like pyjama bottoms and things like this, so that definitely needs to have a sort through. I mean, I can't even, yeah, no. <laughs> and then this is just roll necks, so that's actually not too bad at all. And then on this side, this is my formal wear and jackets. So these are all of my blazers and suits, and then these are more jackets and things like that. But as you can see, it is... It's looking quite crammed in there, and there's definitely some room for negotiation. <laughs> and then underneath, I have more knitwear. Uh, a lot of knitwear, actually. I really do like knitwear. And then on the bottom, I just have shoes. So with every wardrobe clear out, this one is no different. I think the best way to do it is just to completely pull 
everything out. And I know that sounds a little bit extreme, but I think it works a treat. So what I would do is pull out one section of the wardrobe at once, and then pull out another section. Don't do it all at once. I know it might seem really, really good to do it at the time, but then you just get overwhelmed with just a lot of things. So the first item I'm gonna tackle is my jacket. So I'm gonna take everything out, and then we're gonna go through it. Okay, so this is all of my jackets and suits, and then this is all of my knitwear with some shoes. So this completely is empty now, and what I do tend to do is grab a little cloth and just give it a bit of a dust. This actually isn't looking in too bad nick, but as you can see, it's a tiny bit dusty in there just from like the fibres, so I'm going to grab a cloth and give it a little dust. So now that the wardrobe is completely empty, dusted, we're ready to put things back in. Now, it's not a difficult process, but I know with some people, especially me, I'm whole 100% about this as well, I do tend to be very sentimental when it comes to clothes. So if I've worn them and I've had like a happy memory in them, or um, they just remind me of a nice time in my life, then I really do want to keep on with them. But then if I don't wear them anymore, that's when the issues start arising. So I have a little system that I implement, and it is if I haven't wore it in the last three months, which I know is quite a large time frame, so we're talking from now until back in December, which obviously is the same weather period, so I know people can say, if it's cold, I might wear it in the summer. No, I've got only clothes here that I wear in the winter. If I haven't worn it in the last three months, it needs to go. And that's just how I do it. So I'm gonna be ruthless, I'm gonna be a little bit um, rogue, but you know what? I'm doing it, and we're gonna do it in style. So, the first thing we're gonna tackle is suiting. Now I do have a lot of suits because as you know if you do follow me on Instagram I do shoot like fashion content so um, I do have a lot of suits. This is a beautiful suit, it's, it, I haven't wore it yet, this is from Moss Ross, I picked it up very recently. I am absolutely keeping this, so it's gonna go in like that. This next suit I am potentially going to sell. It's a beautiful dinner jacket slash um, three piece suit, I love it but it's very much an occasion wear piece. I would say more so towards the Christmas vibe. So I'm gonna pop this to one side and debate about that afterwards. This next one, again, I absolutely love. It's a three piece one and it's from Jewels, which is a brand that is based in the UK and this was a collab with Next. I love it again. I'm not taking that away, so that is 100% going back in. And I have also just found another suit, right? Okay, this is getting a little bit silly now, but this actually is a wonderful suit. It's a black suit, three piece with um, like lapel detail and it's from Primark. I absolutely love it. I haven't wore it as of yet because it's more of an occasion wear suit, but I don't think I'd ever throw away a black suit because it's an absolute wardrobe classic. So that is gonna go back in. This next one is from Burton Menswear and I absolutely love it. It's like a really chunky, oversized um, jacket. I think this would be really nice coming at the spring, summer, so I'm gonna definitely keep that. Again, denim jacket, I absolutely love this. I've worn this quite a lot recently. One of the items I kind of forgot I had, but I'm really liking denim at the minute, so. This next one is a suede biker from ASOS. I absolutely love it. Not ideal for the wet weather, but when it's dry, it's amazing. Again, this sandy brown jacket. I do like it. But have I wore it recently? No. Will I wear it? Potentially. This might be a maybe to donate charity one. This cardigan featured in a recent ASOS haul and I absolutely love it. I think I just need to fold it up rather than hang it and put it in my knitwear section. So that's going to keep but we're not going to hang that up. Guys, that is looking so much more edited already. I'm going to swap out this hanger because it's giving me major bad OCD vibes. But um, yeah, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so they're just jackets, they're just literally just half quarter length jackets, and then this is suiting. I don't think that's bad going at all, and this gap here, I want to keep this just so I can actually filter through, rather than it being so jammed in. So yeah, really, really happy with that. And then this is the pile that is all going to go on eBay, and I'm going to come to that a bit later on in the video about how I list and sell on eBay. So now it is time to tackle the knitwear. Um, knitwear is actually not a bad thing at all. I love it, but there are some pieces in here that can definitely be edited. Okay, so the way my wardrobe is set out is that I have two um, shelves here. So one shelf I do for knitwear, and then the next shelf I do for shoes, and it just works perfectly like that. So what I'm gonna do, I actually used to have shoes on the bottom shelf and then knitwear up here, but I think knitwear is gonna be better 
on this side just so it's all condensed in. So I do keep my shoes in shoe boxes as best as I possibly can. These ones are from Ted Baker. I absolutely love them. I do wear these a lot more with suits. So I'm gonna pop those to one side. These are my Alexander McQueen trainers. I absolutely love these as well. They need a bit of a clean. They're looking rather dirty, um, but I absolutely love those too. So I just stack them in like this, one on top of the other, and then they're in, good to go and I don't have to worry about them. The next are these ASOS boots. Again, I absolutely love them. I have worn them quite some time, but I really, really do like them, so I'm gonna pop those in too. Now, the next pair are by a brand called Vivant London, and do you know what? I haven't wore these in such a long time. I thought they were more of a summer boot because they're suede, but then I never really reached for them in summer, and then in winter, I haven't really chose to wear them, so I think what I'm gonna do is just potentially list these on eBay um, like I say, I haven't really gotten the wear out of them that I thought I would, so yeah, it's a bit of a shame because they were such a lovely shoe and I think they'll go to a better home, so they're going to go on eBay. And then these are just some black loafer Gucci-esque style shoes. Again, I keep them in this Perspex box just because I try to keep everything as clean and hygienic as I possibly can. So they just go in there and that is literally everything done and dusted. And I do also have a little bit of room here if I want to put something else in there, which is, you know, always an option. So let's start on the bottom shelf now. With knitwear, um, I do tend to roll things in a strategic way so that they are very compact and small and then they can be put back in very easily, so I'm going to show you how I fold. I know it might seem a bit pedantic, but trust me, it works a treat. So what I tend to do is fold the knitwear out onto a bed like so, and I put it front side facing down, and then I fold the arms in a little bit on each side like so. This is how we used to do it in retail, and it just makes everything fold so much nicer. So the arms kind of go in like so, so that they are placed directly parallel with the neckline and then I fold it into four so I do one up just like so and then second up like so and then the last up like that. Now I know it's a piece of chunky knitwear so it's never going to fold beautifully but you've kind of got like a sandwich in there so then when they're stacked on top of each other you can see what it looks like from the front but then they nicely compact down. Okay, so I absolutely love this knitwear. This is from ASOS. I wore this the other day and I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna pop that to one side. This is a rusty number from Primark and I have something very similar to this and I just haven't been reaching for this as much as I thought I would. So I think I can definitely donate this one to charity. So I'm just gonna fold that up and pop that to the side. And you know what guys, the rest of my knitwear, I, I really do wear, I love knitwear. As you can see, I've got a sweater on today. So all of it I'm just gonna pop back in because it doesn't need condensing at all. So this is the finished result. I know I'm a little bit pedantic. I've actually color coded my knitwear. Yeah, I am a little bit ridiculous, I know. But um, these are just like the chunky knits. And then behind, I've got some more. So this is like two layers deep. So I know if I need a color that's not in front, which is black or like cream or white, then I know I need to get them out. But having them like this just means that they are perfectly transportable and you can move them in and out with ease. And I'm absolutely chuffed with how ruthless I've been with my jackets and formal wear. So yeah. Very, very happy with that indeed. Now I need to tackle loungewear because this is a little bit excessive. So because these drawers aren't actually that deep, they don't really allow for a lot of clutter, which is actually really good because it means you've got to just really think like, what do I actually need in there? So I've got things like bed shorts, which I do wear in the winter because I get really, really warm. So these I actually do like, use so I just roll them up and tuck them in so roll is a really good idea for drawers just because it means it takes up less space again another pair of grey shorts so I think like two pairs of bed shorts is a really good shout so we're just gonna do one and two I have all of these pairs of like cozy loungewear socks that I definitely 100% do not need so I'm gonna have to fill it well actually do you know what these are slipper socks but I just never wear them so they're gonna go to charity and these I would definitely say they're slipper socks we're gonna keep those along with those these, I'd say, are more like boot socks, so I'm actually gonna put these in my boot sock drawer, which is perfect. Okay, so this is a loungewear t-shirt. Again, long sleeve, so perfect for winter. So I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a roll. And what is a really nice idea, if you roll them with a pair of like loungewear bottoms, then you know that's a set. So when you pop them away into your drawer, you have a clean set of fresh pajamas that you can just know are in there 
and are good to go. Okay, so that is one set of pajamas, paired and set. I can't bring my, does anyone else have a t-shirt that they just could never bring themselves to throw away? This I got when I was traveling in America. It's, it was, it's, I mean, it's absolutely buggered. I've had it for, since 2016. So I've had it four years and I just love it. It's, I mean, it's no longer soft. It's absolutely crinkled as hell, but I love it and I can't bring myself to throw it away. So that's going in there too. So that is my pajama drawer completely edited now and everything in there I know is good to go. So that can just get closed. And then this one I now need to tackle, which, you know what, it's not in too bad nick at all, this is just roll next. So I'm going to have a quick filter through, see if there's anything that needs to come out, and then I'll be back with you guys. So this side is completely done, and I am absolutely chuffed with how it's looking. It's really, really nice and minimal and streamlined, and I know everything in there I'm going to wear. Moving over to this side, uh, not so much the case. Um, do you know what, we aren't in too bad of a place here either. In the grand scheme of things, there's not a massive amount that needs to come out because this is like my staple wardrobe that I do wear every single day. Um, but there are definitely some pieces that I know can go to a better home. So again, let's pull it all out. Okay, it's the second part of the wardrobe. It's now completely empty. This is the home stretch, guys. I'm very nearly there. The end is near. Sip of the tea. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot about my tea. So here we are, I'm a tea break. Okay, so as I said, this is the bulk part of my wardrobe. This is where the majority of my things are. So I'm gonna make sure that everything that goes back in here, I am 100% definitely wearing. If not, it's gonna go the journey. So let's start with shirts and overshirts, that kind of thing. This is from Farrah. I do love it. I do wear it occasionally. It's not like a solid staple piece, but when I do wear it, I really do enjoy it. What I'm going to do as well is swap out some hangers because that was quite a chunky hanger. So anything that can be swapped for a thinner hanger just creates more room. And as long as it's supporting the shoulders, which I guess this one doesn't matter because it's a relaxed fit, that's good to go. So straight into the wardrobe. Next, we have a white shirt from Barber. Absolutely love this. Really, really nice. Fairly new piece coming in, so that's going to go in too. This shirt is a blue cord shirt. I wore this actually last night to uh, like film premiere thing, so I really enjoyed that. So yeah, that's going to go in too. This is a dress shirt from Pink Shirt Makers, and I absolutely love it. It's definitely more of a smaller piece, so what I'm going to do is pop it in this size in a shirt. So then I know if I do need my smart dress shirt, it is going to be in there. And it's absolutely perfect. I think it's all about making the wardrobe work for you and the pieces that you don't reach for anymore, get them out. These next two pieces are from River Island and they're both jackets. And do you know what? I think I'm gonna keep this one. I think this one I am actually, do you know what? Let's keep them both. No, actually, right, I'm gonna keep this one and then I'm gonna sell this one. It's just not doing bits for me anymore and I think someone can definitely have a better home for that. Okay, now we come on to trousers, and this is a territory that I definitely can condense down on because I'm currently looking at the pile of trousers and thinking how on earth have I accumulated that many. Um, so, let's have a think. These are from Scotch and Soda. I've had them for absolutely forever, and I just don't wear them anymore. I think they're a tad too tight, so yeah, I'm going to pop them in the cell pile. Next two, again, um, these are like a wool blend, which I really do enjoy, and these are from, hmm, they're from New Look, and I actually do wear them, so yeah, they're both going to go in. Again, both of these pairs of trousers, I actually do wear these, are a pair from River Island, and a pair from Bershka, and I've had them both for quite some time, so they're going to go in too. Next pair are these cords, again, these are cream cords from Zara, I bought these in Paris, I absolutely love them. So these ones are from New Look Men, and they're too similar to the River Island ones, so I'm going to pop those in the charity pile. So what I've just done as well, is went and swapped out all of my trouser hangers for these non-slip ones. I just had them on the wrong things, but basically for the trousers, they are brilliant. So you can take them in and out, and they don't slip, they don't fall, they keep them nice and like perfect. And this is everything. This is everything that I have in here. I have so many spare hangers to use. These ones are from Primark, these metal ones, and they're great because they're so thin. And then the non-slip ones are actually from Primark as well. So literally perfect. And if I like condense this down fully, that is so much room and I just don't feel like I need anything else. So in terms of the top shelf, I have just condensed my t-shirts down. So the two top ones are long sleeve t-shirts 
And then the bottom four are just solid block color t-shirts. We've got a navy, a gray, a green, and like an olive green. And then we've just got a striped t-shirt. And then um, this one is just a guest t-shirt. I do actually have just a drawer that's full of like white, black, and gray solid block color t-shirts. But that's just there. And I never condense that because I never purchase them unless they need to be replaced. So it's like one in, one out. So this is literally all of the t-shirts that I actually wear. Because they're not something that I do reach for that often. It's more so like, oh, I want to wear that t-shirt today. I'll grab it. But these are more so like staple pieces for now. And the last couple of items to go up, I just have a, another sleeve, long sleeve t-shirt that was just in the wrong pile and a raincoat. The raincoat I really don't wear, but it's more so for going like any like excursions because it's super lightweight, like festivals and that kind of thing. So let's pop those towards the back. I have a grey tracksuit here that um, was recently in an ASOS haul. I just haven't gotten around to wearing it yet. So again... That's just going to go up there too. And then I have three pieces of chunky knitwear left over from down below that I'm just going to pop up there too. So that's pretty much the top of the wardrobe done. Now all I need to tackle is denim. And I'm there. Oh. This is all of the denim I have. I know, quite ridiculous. However, I am going to filter this down. So the way I tackle denim is if I wear it often enough that I know I'm going to miss it if it goes, then they need to go back in. So this is the finished result guys, we are looking so much more streamlined, so much more organised down below, it's looking great, drawers are looking so much more organised as well, which I'm so happy about, so these nice and all folded away, and then this is just looking so much more streamlined too, I'm so happy with how this all looks. Okay, so this is the aftermath of our piles that we've created, so I'm so happy with the amount of edited out of my wardrobe. It looks a lot more here than it did earlier, and I've organized it, so basically this is the process that I go through. So, everything here is all, like, hangered, apart from these few items where I rang out with some hangers, but all of that is ready to be hung up, photographed, and then listed. And I've also got everything out here. So the way I work it is just do jackets first, then denim, like trousers, and any like miscellaneous items, like the shoes that I'm going to list as well. And then this pile down here is all off to charity. So these are t-shirts and items that aren't of a specific value that um, I know will just not sell online. So I know that charity is probably the best place for those as well. I am also um, just going to point out as well that 10% I am also going to point out as well that I do make regular donations to charity. Um, the items that I am going to be selling are of high value. Um, and I did make from my last eBay haul where I sold a lot of my items, I did make a donation from that to the bushfires in Australia. Um, I just feel like with some of these items that I have been gifted um, to then use all of the money after the sales tax and everything wouldn't be right. So yeah, I do make a donation. Um, but obviously these are going to charity. And these are going to be sold. So yeah, this is the process I go through. Okay, so when I'm listing on eBay, I stress this to everyone. The only really two things that you do need are a phone or some kind of camera and internet. And that's that's it. And like shipment bags, which I will grab now. These are the shipment bags that I use. They come in a pack of 20. These are the medium size. They're pretty, actually, they're quite generous. You can obviously fit quite a lot in them. If one person makes more than one purchase from you, you can just pop them all in a bag. Um, they're biodegradable, so they're not single use, really, really important for me. And they're self-seal as well, so it means you can seal them without using like sellotape, which is brilliant. Um, and that's the process I go through. I literally just photograph the items, parcel them up when they sell, and then ship them. I don't use the labels that eBay provide, um, I just write them out by hand. I just find like that just saves time, like printer ink. Um, you can, of course, use like Depop. Um, Facebook Marketplace is a really good place to sell clothes. Have we got like even car boot sales are really, really handy. Um, it's just find what's best for you. eBay, I found worked out best for me. They do take a 10% cut. So do Depop. Uh, Spock do that as well. These are just UK apps. Of course, Depop and eBay are global. That's, that's pretty much the process I go through. So I'm going to start taking some photos and then I'm going to list them all on eBay. If you do want to check out my eBay page, I will link it in the description down below. Just a heads up guys, I do just ship um, to the UK. I don't do international shipping just because it gets a bit too expensive on my half. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, if any of these items are taking your fancy or you maybe want to buy them for someone else, I'm really, really sorry, but I've just got to keep it to the UK. So um, yeah, I'm going to take some pictures now. So then when I'm taking my picture, I just ensure that the full item is in 
in for him. There's nothing like ambiguous about it. The lighting's really good. I've currently got like a studio lamp set up behind my camera, but I literally just take the staff like that. So I'm just gonna make sure it looks spot on. So yeah, that's perfect. And then I'm just gonna take a photo like that. It's so, so easy and it's just a good way to declutter and earn a little bit of extra cash if you are not using your items and you know they're definitely gonna sell. So I'm gonna carry on doing this. So that's it guys, I really hope you found this wardrobe organisation useful and if you have, as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you very soon. Bye for now.